Uh, who do you like on Sunday? Yeah, right away, I mean, I can tell you that when you think about football, it starts with defense. And to me, when it starts with defense, and you guys have been around Coach Parcells, you guys understand that what he thinks about the game. And, and to me, Luke Keekley right now is the best player in football and the, probably the best player in the game. I don't want to say in, in football, but he will be the best player in this game. I think that when you have a guy like that that's been that dynamic, that's been able to s- score with the ball, you know, imagine going into a playoff game knowing that your defense can score. That gives you the opportunity to be able to take advantage and to be able to have the ability to take risks. Right. And when you can take the kind of risk that you can take knowing that your defense can keep you in games and can score, it gives you a, uh, an edge that, at least in my mind, that they're going to be a little more aggressive and they could be able to stretch the Denver defense. Now, some history can be made if the Panthers win this game, being a 15-1 and team to win a Super Bowl. You know something about that. Yep. 84-49ers and, of course, the 85 Bears. And maybe I'm biased because I'm 47 years old, so I grew up in the era in which you played. I don't know. Even if the Panthers win this game 50 to nothing, I don't know if I could compare them to your 84 team. The way the game is played now, the training, uh, the, the lack of two-a-days and the injuries. I, I just don't know if football is as well played today as it was 30 years ago. And I'm not sure that he's, as great as the Panthers would be, being 15-1, to 1, that I could compare them to your 84 team. Am I being unfair to them? No. No. I, I, I would say the opposite. I think one of the great things about the game is that the game is just as dynamic as it's ever been. The question is that how does somebody do what they were able to do and the reason that they were able to do what they were able to do is because they were a very healthy team right and if you think about having the type of health that they had there are other teams in the league that if they had had that kind of health that they would have probably been in the same category and i know this the the, the arizona cardinals would tell you that hey man we would have loved to have tyrone matthew playing in that game right. because right. he's a you know a, dyn- a, a ph- phenomenal football player so I, I think that the game has not really change that much yes there are rules that are legislated around the head and the injuries there and all the stuff that comes along with concussions I think it's great I'm glad that they've changed it I'm glad that it's uh, uh, they're allowing people to understand that there's a new strike zone all of us will we can't accept the strike zone because a lot of times we sit there and we go wait a minute that used to be a great hit right and and a lot of times what used to be a great hit in boxing was you could hit somebody and, and and you could literally hit them and you could hit them on the side or the kidney and people would say well, you can't hit them but now you can't hit certain people certain where certain places and one of the things i know about boxing is that you guys know this better than i do the rules have changed in boxing so there are always we're going to always see sports that are going to change especially when you when it comes to health issues and I think in this case, the strike zone, at least from what I see, you got to learn how to play rugby. And, and I don't know about you guys, but rugby is a very physical, tough game. They keep their head out of it. Now, I know a lot of my friends that have played rugby, they'll tell you that, that their head gets in there, and their head gets in there in a lot of different ways, but they use their shoulders when they tackle. So, yeah, the game is about hitting. It is about being physical, and I still, I still see the game as a very um, defensive, defensive, defensively oriented game. Now, when you played, the hitting was different. More things were allowed. You were allowed to lead with the head, good hits like that. And then another story today about Ken Stabler, and they did yeah, the autopsy, right. and he had third-degree CTE, which is pretty high. Ronnie, do you worry about yourself? Do you worry about You know something? If you live like that, right? which I think is really fascinating, is that because I know Kenny Stabler, right. he didn't live like that. Okay. You know that. Not, 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 not the guy that I know. And everybody that knew Kenny Stabler will tell you, hey, man, the guy loved life. And I think the only thing that you can do right now in your life is to love life. Mm -hmm. You can't find yourself looking at yourself saying that this is how the consequence of football is possibly this. Harry Carson comes on with us a lot. And Harry has said on our air, if I knew then what I know now, I would never play football, ever. And and you know what? Thank God for Harry. Because if he feels that way, God bless him. You would play, though. But I would play. Okay. And the reason I would play, there are so many other great lessons. Mm-hmm. So many other great lessons. And, 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 and I, I can go into so many other facets. So 
in other words, if 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 somebody shot at me, if somebody it was, would I would I not fight for the country? Right. So don't don't demean my dad. Well, my dad has fought for this country for thirty years. Mm -hmm. Don't demean the fact that people who have put incredible sacrifices on our country that have given up more. And then you, we were going to sit here and talk about the way people think about concussions. Right. When we're are more more people that are in war that deal with that more than I have ever dealt with it. And, and so what, what I'm fascinated by is that the doctor who discovered it, man, we should be a, applauding him. Not only should we be applauding him, but we should try to find ways to enhance the efforts of what we're trying to do with the game of football and around the game of football. Stop looking at this as a problem. Look at it as possibly some solutions that we can bring to the game of life. Ronnie Lott is our guest here on the Michael K. Show. Next VR. We just saw yeah. a demonstration. Mind-blowing. Tell us about it. It's unbelievable, yeah. as you guys know. And I think what's fascinating to me is that that's where sport is going. But when you think about sport, as we all know, who wants to be closer to it? The fans. And not only do you want to be closer to it, you guys are in it. You guys are actually – you. when you sit there and you put it on, I bet you said, wait, I've been there before. Right. But most people, 90% of the world, they've never been in that situation. Absolutely. So now all of a sudden, having that experience, being able to look at it, being able to have the reality of knowing that you're courtside at a game, to me, is a phenomenal experience. And I think we're going to start to see more of this, and we're going to not only see more of it, I have a funny feeling that Fox and others are going to say, man, we got to have this every day, and we got to allow all fans to be able to see the game from that perspective, close up, being right in it, and actually touching all the emotions of the game.